Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120-month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence, so I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with Prison Talk. What's up, everybody? This is Big Herc with Prison Talk, and I want to say thank you for tuning in to another episode. You guys have really supported us throughout the years and made us one of the number one prison shows on YouTube, and we like to keep bringing you guys the real and not glamorize this bullshit because ain't nothing glamorous about doing time. If you got any questions, hit us up at freshoutseries at gmail.com. And if you watch our videos, make sure you hit the bell so that you get the notifications of all the fresh videos coming out. We're always dropping some really informative stuff during the week, three times a week. So make sure you tune in. And also support our Instagram and our Twitter, which is Fresh Out Series. Had a question from one of our viewers. What about being in prison with a family member like a brother? What would happen if, let's say, your brother joined a gang and you didn't? Would a gang let you sit with your brother at chow even though you're not part of that gang? Uh, I've ran across a couple scenarios where I've seen guys in prison who were related. I uh, ran across a guy who was there with his dad. Both of them were drug dealers. Um, they weren't really even on talking terms. They would talk, but I mean, the, the kid basically had a lot of animosity towards his dad, so he didn't really kick it with him like that. Um, I ran across a couple other brothers. They were in there together, and um, they weren't really gang banging like that, but you know, they were both from a particular city, and they used to sit together. Um, I ran across another group of brothers. They, um, they were, they, they, you know, they talked and stuff in prison, but it wasn't like they sat together in the chow hall all the time, you know, even though they did on occasions. But uh, the scenarios I ran across where, um, you know, one's maybe a gang member and one's not, if, you know, the one who's not banging, it, he'd probably sit at the neutral table, you know, he's not banging, you know, and, and it's not really a big thing. You know, uh, sometimes the people, somebody get a pass, but in, you know, in the USPs, you know, if you're, if you're not a part of a particular clique, you're not gonna sit at the table, brother or not. That's just how it is. So, you know, if you're usually, if you're a neutral, they got a neutral table. You know, if your brother's banging and some shit goes down, if that's your brother, you gotta roll with him. You're not gonna let your brother get his wig split in prison. So by default, you're actually clicked up whether you want to be or not, you know, unless you don't really fuck with your brother like that. But um, you, you'll run across a lot of those scenarios in prison where you have um, family members in the same institution, um, but, you know, they kind of do their own thing. But like I said, at the same time, you know, if one gets into some, some trouble, the other one's usually going to step in because that's what family does. And it doesn't look good if a brother gets his wig split and the other brother doesn't jump in. But... Um, yeah, you know, you, you kind of just ride your own, man. I mean, everybody does their own program. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, you might have one that's got a different mindset than other. You know, I knew a lot of a lot of cats. One of them, you know, might have be, been into like studying the law and the other one might be into working out. So they do separate programs and that's just life. But um, as far as, like I said, sitting in the chow hall, eating together, in, you know, you, you guys might not be sitting together like that if one's really into gang banging and the other one's not, you know. And um, that's how shit goes down in the pen.